What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Mantis Experience. Today, I'm going to be talking about a modification that I made to our 2020 Taxum Mantis. to integrate a molly panel into our 2020 taxa mantis my goal has been something that can easily be accessed inside the door first aid maybe bear spray perhaps other things that are commonly used like headlamps when i really started thinking through this i really narrowed down to two separate spots within our 2020 taxa mantis the first of which is inside the door and ultimately i think that would have been a great spot for it the second spot and the spot that i chose was actually inside the door to the left on the cabinetry um, on on the mantis now one thing you need to keep in mind is that the 2018 and 2019 models had had a different type of cabinetry setup than the 2020 and as far as i understand it the 2020 has a different cabinetry setup than the 2021 so you need to understand your year model and know whether or not this is going to work for you. But for the 2020 specifically, this Molly panel and where I put it is a perfect setup to have quick access to a number of different things inside the Mantis and not have to go searching for them in the milk crates. So from here, I'm going to walk you through the different steps that I took to install the Molly panel that we got. Before I get into the individual steps of what I did to make this installation, I should probably let you know that we got a RMP rigid Molly panel from Grayman Tactical. Um, and, and, you know, I really have to say, I was really impressed with the design. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was a, a steel or some sort of metal type of a um, structure. It's not. Ultimately, I was very pleased with the uh the quality and the structure of the gray man tactical rigid molly panel and uh i know there's plenty of options out there but i can tell you from personal experience that was one that i was really impressed with it's very stable it's very sturdy and i think it's going to be able to last us quite a while as i started this install the first thing i did was mock up where i wanted to place the molly panel before I ever started drilling holes or anything of that nature. I placed it up there with some quick grips and just measuring it out from the lip of the counter. Just so you know, I, I kept it at two and a half inches from the lip of the counter. In hindsight, I think you'd be better off if you were at about two to two and a quarter inches from the lip of the counter. I ran into a couple little issues nothing major i still have it very well supported but for other people who want to do something like this i'd probably test it out from two inches to two and a quarter rather than the two and a half from the lip of the countertop once i measured out the molly panel and knew exactly where i wanted it to go i got a sharpie and i started marking all of the holes you're going to have 16 holes around the perimeter of the molly panel you want to mark all of those out so that you can take a quarter inch drill bit and start to drill out those holes for your screws to be able to run through there and through the cabinetry as well as through the molly panel itself at this point you're going to have to take off the cabinet cover behind the carbon monoxide sensor um, and when you start to drill your holes through there be very careful because there's some electrical components, some wires, things of that nature. You just wanna make sure that you don't accidentally drill through that panel or through those wires and mess something up where you have to go back in and uh, you know redo the electrical and the wires and things of that nature. 
So I told you a moment ago that you're gonna to wanna to use a quarter inch drill bit. I actually started with a pilot hole and I used a 1 8 inch drill bit just to make my first holes all the way around for the 16 holes. And then I did another lap around uh, for all the holes using that quarter inch drill bit. After you've drilled your quarter inch holes um, through the cabinetry, you're going to want to run the fasteners through the holes. I did it from the inside, the milk crate side of the cabinets, uh, ran the fasteners through there, then put on all of the nylon bumpers uh, or nylon spacers. And from there, I was able to add the rigid molly panel to the fasteners and then start to put the nuts on the fasteners. And now the molly panel is on. You've got your fasteners running through the cabinetry with your nylon spacers, molly panel, you put the nuts on and you're able to do whatever you want to that molly panel that suits you, your family, your needs, your desires, whatever it is that you want there, make it your own. You can have different things. Like I said, we're gonna have first aid, we're gonna have some headlamps, some other pouches, things of that nature, some stuff we need some quick access things that we use all the time. In the end, I'm incredibly pleased with this modification to our Taxa Mantis. Like I told you earlier in the video, it costs less than $100 for the panel and the fasteners and the nylon bumpers that we needed. It took me about 45 minutes to actually install it. It was simply drilling some holes, putting the fasteners through there, putting the panel on, putting the nuts on and you're done. One thing I think I will go back and do actually, uh, now that I think about it, is get some blue Loctite and put it on the nuts when it uh, attaches to the fasteners. That way when we're driving down the road or driving off the grid, uh, we, we won't have that rattle off, those nuts rattle off and fall off and the panel falls off with all the things on it. Um, so. I will plan to do that, but other than that, I am extremely pleased with the install, with the cost, and just the general availability of those things that I want to put there. We're gonna keep figuring out what exactly we want there. I know for sure the first aid, but there's going to be other things that we'll eventually want to put there, and we'll figure that out over time. Again, if you have any ideas as to what we should put on our Molly panel, please drop them in the comments below. Um, and if you have any suggestions of ways to improve on this modification, let us know. So for today, that is a wrap on the Molly panel install video in our 2020 Taxa Mantis. Thank you so much for watching. If you're starting to find these videos helpful for you and your family in your Taxa Mantis or your Taxa Habitat, please consider giving a, a thumbs up giving a subscribe to the channel. We're gonna try and keep putting out different types of videos on a number of different topics around boondocking and camping and modifications to the taxa habitats. And again, thank you so much for watching The Mantis Experience.